Hi Geeks! Let's start customizing PowerShell. Open PowerShell ISC from Start menu or Cortana search. All comments, commentlets, scripts and such in this video will be detailed explained in video description at 10forums.com. See the link in YouTube video description. The ISC workspace is divided in three panes. The command pane where you input the comments or commentlets as they are called in PS, the by default minimized script pane on top and the command add-on pane at right. You can toggle script and comment add-on panes on and off from view menu. Font and other visual aspects can be changed from options in Tools menu. Changes made apply to both user mode and elevated admin ISC. First, let's check if we have rights to run scripts with get execution policy. At the moment our rights are restricted. We'll change that, but let's first repeat the commentlet and see how it's made. A commentlet syntax is verb hyphen noun. The first part tells PowerShell what to do with the latter part. Type the verb. Predictive input tells you what you can do with it. Up arrow brings the last comment back. We only need to change first letter and add a parameter for next comment letter. In my case now I have set policies which PowerShell cannot globally override. I need to be more specific and tell PowerShell I don't need global rights, just this user will be ok. Let's check. Right's OK, we can move on. I clear the screen with CLS command. Next step is to make both user mode ISC and elevated admin mode ISC to open in same default working folder. We will first check if a PowerShell ISC profile exists, and if not, create a new profile. No profile exists, we can create a new one. First, we create a new empty profile file. 
Profile will be created in subfolder Windows PowerShell in your Documents folder. Profile is now empty. To edit it, open it in script pane. The following profile script will be explained in video description. To save the script, click Save button or select Save or Save As in File menu. Normally you can choose script names freely, but in this case use the default name given for profile. Profile scripts are text files. You can also edit them with Notepad. Time to test. Looking good, except that I want an empty line after the welcome message. I open the profile script in script editor to edit it. I will add an empty line after the welcome message. There we go, exactly as I wanted. Now both user mode ISC and elevated admin mode ISC open as I want them to open.
the normal PowerShell has not been changed. The changes we have made only apply to ISC. That's it. Both PowerShell and PowerShell ISC now open as I want to. I can edit both profile files independently in Notepad or ISC script editor.